Hello guys and welcome to Maya Basics. So if you click down here, you can open up their preferences. And here you can change multiple stuff. So if you go to View Cube, you can either have it on and you see in the top corner of Cube comes up. It just helps you navigate around the scene if you want. Also here the settings you can change the grid size, normally have it on centimeters or whatever you want. Then you can go to File Projects, have auto save on. I recommend having on because you never know when Maya is going to crash. So just always make sure you've got that on. Okay. Undo you can change it to uh, infinity amount of times or infinity. I'm putting how many times you want to undo. I leave it on infinity since I make a lot of mistakes sometimes. So I'll go to File and you can do new project here by going to Project and New. And just type in the location that you want and the name that you want and then click use defaults and it loads up all them folders for you so click accept and if you go looking for it you'll see that all the folders are there what you need so if you did go to save and then you saved it it would come out into your basic scenes as you can see there right so that's a good thing to do when you're working on a project okay so up here you can also change if you want the polygon count to appear or not as you can see in this scene we've got no polygons whatsoever so it's all zero Okay. And this is also good for when you're working on a polygon budget, just so you can see how many polygons you've got. Click up here to hide a grid or to show it. Normally I leave it on. So if you click your cube, you can use interactive creation. By going to create polygon primitives and turning it on. Then you click 5 to shade or 4 to wireframe. 3 to smooth and 1 to unsmooth. And here if you highlight all these and you type in like 10, It'll do a whole box to 10 size or 5, whatever you want. Here, these are adding segments to your cube, which if you want you can do. Uh, many times I just add it in by going to insert edge loop, okay. So that's up to you. Now if you click here you can go to your camera attributes and you can change some of these if you want your basic one will be 100 like that and if you zoom out your scene just disappears so you want it to about 10,000 okay and then uh, near click plane which will be at point 100 you might want to change that as well and if you hold down the right mouse button you can change the components that are in the polygon so sort of face vertex edges this is face mode right now vertex of these little points here okay and that's face there again so if you want to ex so if you click R you can scale E you can rotate and W you can move like so so R to scale just click a box and drag it and you can see now it's scaling like that then if you click E you can rotate it like this ok and there's them um, again W, R and E you can also change how much rotate you have up here or the scale as you can see so if you want the scale to be 5 or 1 whatever you want Alright, so these are the different tools that you can use for modeling in the mesh and edit mesh. Alright, so if you go to face mode by holding down the right mouse button and clicking face, then go to extrude in the edit mesh menu, you can see you've got a whole lot of things that you can do with it. Just pull out the blue 
and you can also change the local translate Z here which is a blue line which goes straight up you can also do the local scale as well like this normally I'd do it manually I won't use this attribute editor thing alright but it's up to you you can also change how many divisions it has like that by just typing in a number the offset is just like a bevel I think so if you type in one it looks like that okay so if you go to edit mesh you can split polygon tool which allows you to draw on polygons on your object now remember to make sure you always have a quad or a triangle in your model and not an angon which Fred has got here in some but it's just showing you what you can do with it so if you go back to edit mesh you can merge vertex tool which allows you to click on a vertex and drag it to another one to merge them together like so okay and then if you select this vertex here you can also extrude it I never extrude vertexes but it's up to you if you want to try it and as you can see in the channel box you can see it there change the length the width if you click on the length title in your middle mouse drag you can change the value and what it does okay so if you go to edit mesh you can go to insert edge loop and here you can interactively make polygons on your model like this okay as you can see he's dragging them to the sides like that and also if you hold down the space you get this menu and if you left mouse hold and click or if you right click it works either way you can also tap spacebar to change your views or just hold down spacebar hold down left mouse and just go to side or top view whatever like this all right now I just tap space bar on what I want so it's up to you there's always different ways to do stuff in Maya if you go to edge mode if you double tap you can select the whole edge around the model like that and also if you select these two faces and double click the third it does a selection all around the model like that okay And if you select these faces up here and you control and right mouse button hold it down you can go to this menu and it's up to you if you want to use it you know I don't use it but others might like thread but it's really up to you and now what you want to do is you want to select these edges around the top so just double click and then if you hold down shift and right mouse you can see there's loads more tools here you will have to add your own in because on mine I don't have bevel edges but you can change it and also you can change the offset of the bevel like that ok and then if you want you can select these two edges here and then go to delete faces which is also in the edit mesh menu which I use a lot on my own shelf so if you delete a face in your model and you want to get it back you can go to edit mesh and go to a, pon, a pen poly sorry. and if you click on an edge and click on another edge and another it fills in the hole for you like that or you can select the edges around it and go to mesh and fill hole there's also another way called bridge but sometimes it does really glitch on Maya and I won't use it okay okay so you want to go hold down control right mouse click and go to edge and insert edge ring split as you can see it does it straight down the middle or you can go to edit mesh and insert it there and just drag it where you want like that okay so now if you delete this face these faces here 
you go to object mode and click here and go to mesh go to mesh and mirror geometry you can if you type in on this negative y I meant negative z right it'll go close to your object like this you'll see in a minute like that all right and that's how people sometimes model sometimes do one side and mirror the other side okay so if you click here you can open up the outliner and if you click this icon here and go to rename you can rename the object and sometimes this is really good to do when you're working with loads of models in your scene because like you can pick them out with your outline event okay so just call this cube test or something you can see the name up there okay so after doing everything with your model you want to go to edit delete all by type and history and it'll just clear all the history that you've got on your model and it'll stop Maya from crashing a bit more because they don't need to keep up with all the work that you've done so if you just make models like this like different cubes and prisms and spears and even this little tube or whatever you call it okay you can snap to a grid by clicking up here and just dragging it and it snaps to the grid like that okay and then you can also snap to points which are on vertexes like that as you can see it's connected to the vertexes of the different objects okay it'll be useful for modeling some things and other times it won't there's also shortcuts to do it. You can hold down V. And then you can like drag it like this. And that does point uh, snapping and V. And then X is to do grid snap. So if you hold down X, you can snap to a grid. Like so. Okay, so you can click up here. And you got your mo uh, model selected. And it'll isolate it so you can just concentrate on the item uh, if you select the others you can click ctrl h to hide them then select them in the outline and do shift h and it'll re-show them if you don't have your outliner up you can always ctrl shift and h okay so he's isolated now the spear and you can click f to frame up on it and rotate around it like so then you can center a pivot as well, like if you move the pivot anywhere. Also, if you click insert, you can move a pivot wherever you want. So now if you like, rotate it here. It'll rotate around the pivot, like so. Okay, and you can move it where, wherever you want. And also if you click that little icon there, you can like change the pivot axis. So like that. Okay. And now if you want it back into your center of your object, or even if you want it on your object, just like click point snap, you can drag it around your object. Okay. You can also do it on another object. So if you hide these two in your insert and you snap to point and put the pivot on it it'll be like the moon rotating around the earth or the earth rotating around the sun like that okay and if you want it back in the centre you can always go to modify centre pivot like that and then you got to figure out how to change the axes of it so you can go to tool setting and go to object or world Normally it's world to reset, you can also do it to object. And now it's back, as you can see. You can also freeze these, 
So now the zero zeroed out. So 